Welcome, my friends. On this side, we have the highest, well, pretty much the highest what you can get for mainstream PC. 12900KS3090 DDR5. This over here costs around $5,000. And then on this side, well, what's what's left of the PC? I have just the boxes left because we actually shipped the PC back to Damien because that's actually his PC. But I did manage to pull the benchmarks before. But this over here is a 19 thousand dollar pc with two rtx 3090s and an amd threadripper pro 3995 wx processor with 64 cores 128 threads 256 gigabytes of ecc memory absolutely beast of a 3d rendering machine but the question is how do these two compare to like photo editing and 3d and other creative benchmarks how bad is the five thousand dollar pc and how good is the $19,000 PC? Well, let's find out. Hey, thumbs up the screen. This video is sponsored by Adorama, the family-run business since 1974 with the number one focus on customer satisfaction. When shopping online for your creator tools, I highly recommend checking out Adorama and the huge stock of electronics. Whatever you're looking for, most likely they've got it. Computers and components, GPUs, yes, GPUs, photo and video and studio equipment, and much more. Why not save some money and buy high quality used gear or trade in your old gear for a deep discount on your new purchase. And don't forget to check out the deal of the day section for killer deals on many products. Check out Adorama store in the description below. First of all, there is build videos out for both of these things, which are very awesome videos as well. I highly recommend you go check out these if you are new and you don't know what I'm talking about of this PC or of that PC. As well as the parts that we use for these PCs, I'm gonna link down below. But let's compare some of the specs then of these two PCs. The cores and threads on the $19,000 PC there, we have the 64 cores and 128 threads. On the 5K PC is 16 cores and 20 24 threads and it's a hybrid architecture where we have eight performance cores and eight efficiency cores. The CPU TDP is 280 watts on the 19K PC and the 5K PC has a TDP of 150 watts. Bear in mind that the actual boost power when everything is utilized will be roughly around 241 according to Intel but the you know real truth is a little bit different in terms of ram we have eight sticks of 32 gigabytes 3200 megahertz cl22 ecc ram on the 19k pc and the 5k pc has four times 16 gigabytes of 4800 megahertz cl38 and that's DDR5, so DDR4 and DDR5. In terms of the cooler, the 19K PC has a Noctua NHU14S with two fans, and it's the TR4 and SB3 uh, version of this, which is like, has a massive cold plate there to actually get proper contact with the IHS. And if you're asking, will this dinky cooler actually uh, keep up with the PC? Absolutely, yes. A lot of the SIs use that same cooler and it's completely fine. You don't need uh, a water cooler for this. In fact, an AIO might even perform even worse and in a lot of the cases actually does but just because it can't cover the whole IHS of this absolute big chungus of a CPU. The GPU is Asus RTX TUF on the 5K PC and on the 19K PC we have two of those GPUs. In terms of the size, both of them are large towers. The 19K PC is a little bit bigger though. In terms of power supply, the 19K PC is running the EVJ 1600 watt power Power supply and then on the 5k pc we have actually rog thor 1200 watt power supply as well which has a very cool uh wattage meter on the side over there so i can see how much it's pulling from the socket pretty cool feature the 19k pc doesn't have an igpu but the 5k pc does have an igpu included inside the cpu in terms of the price i'm saying 5k but at the moment you can actually build the 5k pc roughly around four and a half grand Whereas the 19k PC now has come quite a bit down on the prices just because we didn't have to pay three grand for the actual GPUs. So now you can build it just over 16k, but we're still going to call it 19 and 5k just because, you know, thumbnail and better clicks when you talk about higher, you know.
prices and stuff. So then let's have a look at some of the benchmarks. First of all, power consumption. If we compare like how much do they actually draw power when running Cinebench, then they're not running too much from each other. The 5K PC pulls around 290 watts with 12900KS and the 19K PC pulls around 280, 285, somewhere around there. So they're actually in terms of like power draw at 100% utilization on Cinebench R23, they're pulling about the same amount. In terms of the minimum or idle uh, wattages, the 5K is so much lower. That's the benefit of those efficiency cores inside the CPU. It will idle less than 10 watts, no problem. Whereas this Threadripper is many, many times higher in terms of the idling thing, because you can't idle 64 cores. So looking at the Cinebench cores then, the single core is about 70% faster on the 5K PC, which is just absolutely amazing. In terms of the multi-core performance here now, there we can see that uh, the 19K PC is more than double the score, so more than twice as good. In fact, the 5K PC is about 54% slower. In Geekbench 5, the single core is 64% faster in the 5K PC, but the multi-core score is 40% slower on the 5K PC. And bear in mind, that's because we're not actually counting the threads as well. If we had the threads, you know measured on this benchmark as well then the 19k pc would be even further away but just because geekbench actually measures just cores rather than threads as well that's that in terms of geekbench gpu because geekbench can't utilize quite two rtx 3090s at the same time then the performance is exactly the same in that particular benchmark but what is interesting is when we move on to blender and looking at the cpu performance here and that is what the 19k pc was built for like 3d rendering 3d applications then we can see that it's almost three times as good in pretty much all of the you know benchmarks here monster junk shop and glass room we're getting beat so 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 bad on the 5k pc there so here's where the 64 cores and 128 threads really shine now let's move on to photo editing and photo editing applications first of all photoshop and in here we have quite a big difference here and the scales tip to the other side the 5k pc is about 61 percent faster in all overall score in fact the general score is 82 percent faster which is close to double the performance there but generally 61 percent faster and that's highly to do with the single core performance and photoshop can't utilize like that many cores like in fact that many cores start to be like actually a hindrance rather than a benefit but when looking at the lightroom classic adobe lightroom classic then here we can see that the 19k pc and 5k pc perform very very similar bear in mind the overall score is similar just because the passive score which is just rendering photos and exporting them or putting them together as you know like a massive panorama or merging photos or doing you know focus stacking or hdr or something like that that's passive score where lightroom classic can utilize all of those 64 cores and 128 threads there we can see that our 5k pc is actually 7 percent slower but the active uh, score where you actually work in with photos and where single threaded performance is very very important then the 5k pc is about 22 percent faster but generally overall the 5k pc is only two percent faster now video editing let's have a look at adobe premiere pro and if you look at the benchmarks over here then the extended overall score is only one percent faster on the 5k pc which is impressive you would expect the 64 core pc with two rtx 3090s and so much more ram to absolutely absolutely fly ahead but it's not quite the truth in terms of standard overall score the 5k pc is 10 percent faster which is quite a lot as well now when we look at the extended export extended live playback and standard export scores so the export scores are faster on the 19k pc just because the 64 cores and 128 threads can put the video together much faster than this 16 core pc but not that much better about 15 percent better in those kind of uh, areas of the benchmark the extended live playback which uses like 8k footage and 8k raw footage then we can see that the 5k pc is about three percent slower so when looking at the extended export and standard export scores that's where you know basically you're putting the video together and exporting the 64 cores are much much 
better and the 5k PC is roughly about 15% slower but not that much if you really look at the things. Extended live playback where the actual benchmark uses some of the 6k and 8k red raw you know codex then the 19k PC is better and the 5k PC is about 3% slower but interestingly because of the iGPU inside the Intel 12900KS the standard live playback is 34% faster the effect score is 2% faster and interestingly even the GPU score is about 10% faster it's probably to do with premiere pro really not knowing what to do with two rtx 3090s and you know having the nv link there as well it's probably not gonna you know know what to do exactly even though the fa like 19k pc really has so much more graphics power let's move on to after effects and here the 5k pc is 24 percent faster in overall scores can you believe that it's about four times less expensive and 25% faster. In terms of the multi-core aspect of the benchmarks, even there we're performing very, very similar. The 16 cores can keep up with the 64 cores, which is absolutely insane. And I would have expected this multi-core to be much faster on the 19K PC, but hey, look at that. For some reason, it isn't. The GPU performance is 17.9% faster on the 5K PC. And as you can see, the RAM preview 25% faster, render scores 15% faster, and even tracking 50% faster on the 5K PC. So even for After Effects, I'd probably go with the 5K PC. DaVinci Resolve, and here the 19K PC is slightly faster in the extended overall score, and the 5K PC is about 1% slower. But in the standard overall score, the 5K PC is about 2% faster. Now, when you look at the 4K and 8K media score, the 19K PC is faster. But interestingly, it's not faster in the 8K media kind of aspect of it, which I would expect it to be, you know, when you get higher end resolutions, that's where this like 5K PC would struggle. But actually, it's the 4K media that it really shines at which is just interesting to me. I would have expected it to be uh, the other way. But when you're working with 8K media, obviously the uh, 19K PC is completely a different uh, leak. In terms of GPU effects, again, look at that. Even though DaVinci Resolve can utilize the NV uh, bridge and two GPUs, for some reason, GPU effects are faster. Only 2% on the 19K PC, which is not what I would expect. I would have expected it to be a much better scaling in there. In Fusion, the 5K PC is 38% faster due to the single core performance, really. Now, V-Ray, this is the application where the NV-Link can really be utilized and two RTX 3090s can work together and really render out the scene very, very good. But looking at the CPU performance, the uh, 5K PC is oh, 60 almost 60% slower, 58% slower, which is a lot, you know, it's uh, double this, the score on the 19K PC. In terms of the GPU CUDA scores, you can see that the 5K PC is about 40% slower. So you're gaining, you know, quite good scaling with two RTX 3090s. But interestingly now on the RTX scores, if you look at the scaling of this here, you're getting more than double the performance. As you can see, the 5K PC is 53% slower, which means 19k pc is more than twice as fast with having two rtx 3090s which is interesting having two rtx 3090s but you get like two point something performance rather than two x performance which is very 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 good scaling so if you're using v-ray you can know that gpu scaling there is very very nice not like in you know davinci resolve where we get two percent increase and here we're getting over like 100% increase. So then in conclusion, is this even fair? I think this comparison very well shows you that you really need to build your PC for your needs. Depending what you're doing, you just have to use the right parts. Overspending or just getting the more expensive thing isn't really gonna give you more performance. For example, in video editing, I would much rather get this 5K PC because most of the cases, it will be better apart from you know exporting i don't think you want to spend 10 grand just because you're 
export is going to be a few minutes faster. I think the 5K PC here will keep up with it very, very well. If you're looking at 3D rendering, then that's what this 19K PC is for. There's not even a question. As you can see, it's more than twice the price, but it is about twice as fast in the 3D rendering. It depends in CPU rendering. It's actually three times as fast in Blender almost. In V-Ray, we're getting more than double the performance as well. It's just interesting to, to see that 3D uh, rendering aspect of that 19K PC. But obviously photo editing, definitely don't get that uh, thread ripper processor for photo editing. Get this 5K PC for photo editing as well. So photo and video editing, I think the 5K PC wins in 3D. The 19K PC wins absolutely hands down. So my friends, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Thanks guys for watching. Adios.